All right, well, we're just going to roll with it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Beard and Friends. And tonight, we'll be a little quiet because of the situation we're in. But the old situation. Your situation. I apologize for the messy counter. So, everybody, this is Stuart. Short Stew. He's never really been in any of our videos. There's so, a reason for that. So... We have a birthday party we're going to tomorrow, and he's going to make some chili, and we're going to show you one of his little recipes on how to make chili. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got some kidney beans, got some black beans. He's dicing up some peppers right now. What else you got? Some rotel. Yeah, I might put the rotel in just for some heat. Yeah, we got a little bit going on, so. Oh, make a big mess. So the first step, regardless, right now, we're getting these peppers diced up. Chopped. Chopped, diced, who fucking cares? Watch your mouth, man. Oh, I'm sorry. The family we... channel, right? Yeah, that's right. Fuck you. <laughs> hey. hey. Is that enough peppers you want to do the last uh, one? I mean, finish it off, man. Who are you? Uh, that ain't me. All right, well, since when he gets off his phone, we can continue the video. Oh, that poor. Huh? Had to, had to get the focus. Oh, there we go. So now we're going to do the onion. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, if we start crying. It wasn't because we're sad. It's because we're... You told me to get the sweet onion because it won't do that to you. It shouldn't, technically. No. Uh -huh. Yellow onions will make you ball. White onions will make you ball. Sweet onions, eh, they're a little more sweeter, so they won't let you ball as much. I'm taking a layer off. Take it off. Take it all off. Yeah, you're a sick man. <laughs> Sorry, we got another one. There you go. Chop, 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 chop. <coughs> so I'll tell you a story. So probably about 10 years ago, they created this uh, gadget. It was called a slap chop. Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. You're gonna be in a great mood all day because you're gonna be slapping your troubles away with the Slap Chop. Now look, here's a potato. One slap, you got big chunks for stews. Two slaps, home fries in a second. And look at this, but you add a mushroom, the more you do it, the finer it gets. You don't have to switch any blades. Now. Chop. Oh my God, and he has one. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> and I was thinking the whole time. Yeah. Show him how it works. Uh, oh my like, god! I don't feel like making it dirty. But I was thinking the whole time you're cutting everything up. I was like, boy, if he had a slap chop. Hmm. I don't need one for onions though. Yeah. Because I use the layers to make them diced. So I just slice them and I go along like this. This is how he slices his onions. So they come out in little pieces, huh? That you figure it out yet? Squirty, squirty. I might use a little bow. You ought to do that. Put some butter in it. That's what I was just saying. You put that crap in there? Yeah, I don't have regular butter. Oh, oh, Jesus. There's the heart attack. Morning time, so. That's all right. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, is that enough? Yeah, so we got the garlic, we got the butter, we got the oil. We got the steam. Oh, we gotta get the peppers. The peppers. Don't you want to put the onions in here? Are you going to do them first? All right, we got these peppers. Can I drop them in? In a minute. In a minute. Let the heat get up there a little bit. We'll, we'll put it on the burner. Butter hasn't even melted. So what? Let it sweat a little bit. Let it sweat. I say let it sweat. Is 
This whole house is going to smell like uh, roasted garlic. Mm -hmm. Shake it up. I wish I had a thermal damn on it. Mm. It's good, man. Yeah, you don't have a silicone spray. Steamy. Steamy. Steamy caramel. Oh. Alright, drop them in. Drop them in the top. There we go. Yeah. We got the, we got the flavors. I wasn't saying Shut up. Alright, so we're back. Alright, so right so now. Uh, no, you clean them out. Well, yeah, you can leave the seeds the in there. Seeds are where the heat is. Yeah, just fucking, just do just what I tell you. you. Just do what I tell you. So we got the onion cut, and we're cutting up the jalapenos. We're going to figure out, you know, we ain't trying to kill anybody. We're going to do a ghost pepper uh, jalapeno. Or, uh, All right, I got some flashbang. I'm yeah, sure I might put a little flashbang in that. This damn thing won't stay in focus because of that fucking light. Well, just like this? Yeah, that's perfect. Cut two of them up. Throw them in the pot. I'm throwing the seeds and everything in. Yeah, throw the seeds with the onions and get a good caramelization. There we go. Throw them in. Get them in there. You can't see shit. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's the magic. There's a lot of water in fresh vegetables, so it takes a, a little bit of time to cook them down. I mean, the oil, and then they start browning. I'm not really trying to more like saute these, because eventually when they're in the chili, they're going to get soft anyway. Oh, more heaven, more heaven. Look at that. Boys and girls, does it get any better than that? Beardless. Dude. You're beardless. I have this little furry thing on my. I'm not beardless. Yeah, he has some kind of freaking. Uh, beardless on my. What the hell is that thing? Fu Manchu? No. Oh. It's a soul patch. He's got a soul patch. Show him that soul patch. He got some soul. He yeah. got soul. So look, he's cutting up the chicken. Are you using a butter knife? Okay. It's like, damn. It's my Guy Fieri knife. Guy Fieri. Hear that? He's using your knife. See? God, you oh, thanks. You just blinded half my viewers. I'm going to do it on purpose. There we go. See, I just need to get closer with the light on it. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Stop holding your nose when you sneeze, Peyton. Sometimes I do that. Well, it's not good finally for you. an explanation. It's not good for you, though. No, it causes brain damage, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need any more of that. <laughs> so there we go. Now I got the angle. I, gotta I just got to get closer. See? Closer. Up close and personal. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so close. Mm -hmm. For, for the viewers who don't know how to cook and dice chicken, this will be your this will be the part where you can see how you dice the chicken. It ain't I'm, nothing special. It's just I'm pretty out. sure there's people out there who probably never diced a piece of chicken in their life. And uh, good old Stewie there, see that? That's perfect. He actually dices chicken better than I do. When I do, it's a freaking mess. Love, because you're fucking, you're sweating the shit out of them. You're, you're, they're you mushroom. gotta cook them, dude. You dude, they're cooked. If they're any more fucking cooked, because they're mushy. They're not mushy. Oh yeah, take one and put it in your mouth. I guarantee you it's Which, gonna what, be. What do you want me to try? Hey, you want to taste one? Oh shit! What was that? Yeah, man, look at all that liquid. Okay. All right, put the take, chicken in there. Take one. I don't want it. Put the take chicken. Take one. 
I don't want to eat that. Why? There's no chicken in it. It's just a pepper. Yeah, they're watery and mushy. Here's the difference. When I make chili, I don't cook the vegetables. I add it into the chili fresh. Yeah, but I also don't cook them on low. That's why they're sweating, because you got no heat on them. Well, it's not like you were trying to fire roast them. You just leave the lid off. Look, mother, let, I'm going to tell you what, motherfucker. You start your shit with me. Don't start your shit with me. Your recipe. Don't yell at me for your incompetence. Are you going to add the chicken in? All right, well, let's go. Can I wash my hands? Fuck no. I didn't just give a big speech on making sure when you use chicken to wash your hands. So you get a little hot water, get a little soap. That water's probably not even hot. Not yet. Yeah, you need hot water. I'm getting Cold there. water don't kill. You know what? Yes, it's here. Oh, you better not. You better not. I saw that look in his eye. He was going to throw water at me. <laughs> I was going to let you feel how it was. Mm. He was trying to give me a shower. So here we go. We got the chicken. Oh, yeah. Chicken's down. Everybody frown. All right, should I give this thing a stir? Oh, I can't do this shit with a camera in my hand. Well, you know, it's called multitasking. You guys like my, st my stirring skills? <laughs> what is that? Chili powder. Oh, hell yeah. Here, give it a good stir. Oh, what do you got there? A little paprika. See, ladies and gentlemen, now the party's going to get started. Let me taste it. Yeah, go ahead Here. and try it. Hey. I don't want to hear about it. Here, tell me if it tastes good. No, I want the lid in the fucking chili. It gives it flavor. I like that metallic aluminum. Yeah. All right. So we got chili beans and... Black beans and kidney beans. Black and kidney beans. All the beans are going in. All right, you got more beans to throw in here? I got a rinse. All right, yes. Rinse your black beans. All right, so we got over here. We got more beans. A can of black beans and a can of kidney beans. Yeah, fuck it, man. Wash them, throw them in. I still think you cut your chicken pieces up too damn big. All right, more beans. So, what, does that look like sauce to you? Yeah. I'm saying, all right. It's all good. Oh, yeah. There you go, you want some of that metal. I got that right? metal. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It can't be any worse than when I was at, uh, at uh, Denny's and I had a uh, metal rack piece in my pancake. Oh, yeah, I remember you told me that. That thing was horrible. It was huge too. I don't know how they missed it. Because most of the people that work there are like crackheads. Because you got to be a real crackhead to make a pancake and not realize there's a huge piece of metal in it. Hey, it's starting to look like a chili. We just need the chili powders. Get there. Get there. Here. I think it's going to be more. I think it's going to be more beans and vegetables and there's going to be meat. Be I know, I'm just saying, that's me. It's going to be enough to feed. Oh yeah, yeah. that should fill that crock pot up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now we got to get it heated up. Looking good. Once it starts to get heated up, then we can worry about seasoning. Alright, put a lid on it, we'll be back. Is there extra sweet nibbles? Shit, of course the batteries, uh... Of course now my battery's fucking dying. So the lighting's gonna be shit. That's corn. all right, we're, almost, huh? we're just corn. putting some corn in. 
Yeah, that'll also help turn it up a little bit. Yeah, hang on. So we add the corn. Then we're gonna put the powders in. Alright, we got that all stirred up. So we each got there mild. Ah, original. We got an original and we got a mild. Start with one and work our way up. This is where the magic happens. How to thicken it up too. There is a secret ingredient. Yeah, we do have a secret ingredient. I'm trying to make this chili. You got it. <laughs> well, you can make it with what you saw that I showed, but yeah, he has a few things in this that I'm not going to disclose because secret family recipe, and I respect that. If it ain't got flavor, then it's just garbage. I have flavor. Chili always has flavor. All right. Gonna give this thing a stir. We're gonna let it set for a little while. We're gonna let it cook, and then we're gonna throw it into the crock pot. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's why I said the chicken shrinks. I would have put more chicken in it. That's just me. But I think it'll be all right for what it is. Whatever. You can put more chicken. You can put more chicken in. That's fine. I mean, you still want to have a base. I think once it cooks down, that chicken shreds a little bit. It's starting to look good, guys. Some chili. It's nice and thick. Yeah. You got to how I like it. I drop it down the line. There's old storage chili recipe. I want to... You want to give it a taste? Well, I'm going to check the chicken. Yeah. I would just tear it in half. Tender. Man. You better make sure, or you won't be going tomorrow. Well, he did it. It's really tender. Well, that's good. I'll wait till it's done. It's done. This shit ain't done. You gotta let chili cook for a good a while. Well, you know what I mean. Chili yeah. When it's uh, when it's completely done, we'll be we'll be good to go to taste it. All right, all right, guys. So the chili is done, and it looks fantastic. I had a little flashbang to it. Right? Yeah. So it was at this moment he knew he fucked up. So flashbang is um. Put some more of that chili. So flashbang is a hot sauce comes in that, that comes in this container and it's pretty much habanero ghost pepper ghost pepper carolina reaper capsaicin it's pretty much everything hot you could ever want so give you a little heat on the back end why don't you give it a taste your recipe you taste <laughs> Turn out good. Oh yeah, that's Look a good that. chili right there. All right, let me, me get me a. Uh... Oh yeah, that's There's all right. Cheese and sour cream. Cheese and sour cream. All right, here's my big old bowl. Wow, that's a lot of freaking chili. Mm. If I could do this. Oh yeah. Mm. Which one do you want? Uh, I don't really care because. You want a sharp or extra sharp? It don't matter. Well, whatever we open, we're not taking with us, so. I'll just get this. Mm. That's on point. I'm the beard with Stuart. AKA stew, and we made his chili tonight. And it's thank you, store. It's absolutely delicious. Thank you guys for tuning in, Beard and Friends. And uh, we're gonna finish our late dinner. Probably have heartburn like a motherfucker in the morning, but that's, that's right. about it. Say goodbye. See you. See you.